Okay, we're going to look at setting up courses on Score Chaser now. So I'm back in my Clark County Shooting Complex Test Club and in my Western Regional Championship Test Tournament. I'm going to go over here to my events list under Manage Tournament, and I'm going to check out the main event. Go down to Courses and Stations in the left-hand navigation of the slip, and you'll see that I've set this up as a two-course event, the red course of 100 targets and the blue course of 100 targets. We're going to update the number of stations. We'll just say 10 for ease of target configuration. You set the number of total targets to be shot at each station. And then you can actually set up menu information. So let's say at the first station, we're going to throw a true pair. Um, you can either use the default A and B, or if your traps are numbered 1 and 2, however you would like to change that, you just type it in the box there. If you don't type anything, it's going to default to A and B. So a true pair, um, and that is enough information to, for a score chaser to understand that you're going to throw five true pairs of A and B targets. If, say, this was a super sporting course, you would actually, we'll go down here to station number two just to make it easy. I might throw a single A, and then I might throw a single B, and maybe a single C. I'm just going to correct that to a capital, and then throw a true pair of AB and a report pair of CB. The last pair that I put in here is what's going to complete the menu. So right now that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. Score Chaser is going to keep looking um, to this last pair entered, the report pair, to finish out to make the 10 target total for you. But let's just remove all of this because I'm not going to present singles like that on a typical main event course. So we'll go to a report pair and we'll do A, B. Now if you have special tar specialty targets on any of these stations, you can define them. So we'll choose what type of specialty target it is and whether it's the B bird or the A bird. If you have both specialty targets, you can keep defining until all of your targets are specified. All right, so I went ahead and finished setting up uh, the target presentations for all 10 stations on the red and all 10 stations on the blue. So we're going to go over here to our reporting page now under Manage Tournament. I'm going to go to Station Menus. I'm going to choose the main event. And you can choose whether you want a portrait orientation where you're going to get one station per page, 8.5 by 11, or landscape where uh, you get two menus per page. I'm just going to demonstrate here the full size sheet. You're going to generate the report and then Score Chaser is going to create a PDF for you. Let's see if I can, there we go. So on the main event, Red Core Station number one, you've got five pair of AB True. Station two, five pair of A Report B and B is a bat two. Um, you can see that it's gone all the way through the blue course as well. And like on this one, for instance, we had an A report B where A was a 70 millimeter. Score Chaser also knows that we have to handle fee task and five stand menus a little bit differently. So I'm going to go back to my events menu here. I've set up one of the fields in five stand just to show you. Click on edit here. Um, in the event type for the overview of this particular event, we've defined it as a five stand. So it knows to handle the menus differently. We'll go to courses and stations. Field one, I want them to shoot 25 targets on one field. And it knows that stand one, I've defined a single here and then a report pair and then a true pair. Stand two, I can define a single and both pairs all the way to stand five. And then you're going to define the specialty targets for the whole field here, not per stand. We'll save that. And then I've generated a two up half sheet uh, menu here and you'll see that score chaser will even generate your fee task and your five stand menus.